Elon Musk's new partnership with Google is a game changer. A new contract has recently come to light, and if everything goes as planned, it may totally transform the way we interact with the internet because, as it turns out, in May of last year, Elon Musk's enterprise, SpaceX, which is famed for traveling to space, has also been steadily building up an internet satellite network and has signed a deal with none other than the digital god, Google. Hello and welcome to TechLux YouTube channel. Please do leave a like and subscribe with all notifications enabled so that you won't miss a single video we upload that talks all about technology and how people use it to their advantage. So let's get started. This third transaction not only makes Elon's vision of the future more possible, but it will also have a direct impact on all our individuals' lives. If there is one thing you can't count on Elon Musk to do, it is to make decisions that will not only benefit him as a businessman, but will also have a legitimate impact on how the world operates. One way he accomplishes this is by establishing partnerships that benefit the public, such as allowing other electric vehicles to charge at their superchargers or actively working with China to make electric vehicles a trend there. There appears to be nothing Elon cannot accomplish with a proper partner. So let's take a look at some of the aspects of the arrangement and how they will affect you. The deal. Given the goals of both these companies, Starlink attempting to become the world's largest and most robust internet network and Google attempting to make their cloud network more widely available and, well, just plain bigger, it's no surprise that both jumped at the chance to collaborate on this endeavor. As Google's chief of worldwide networking, Bikash Kohli, would put it, and I quote, the power of combining cloud with universal secure connectivity. It's a very powerful combination, end quote. This demonstrates that merging the world's largest network with the fastest expanding cloud on that network is a win-win situation for both. Thomas Kurian, the CEO of Google Cloud, stated that SpaceX picked them because the quality of our network, as well as the dispersion and reach of our network. Then, there are the organizational histories, because it turns out that this is not the first time Google and SpaceX have taken part together. As Google invested $900 million in the space firm in 2015 to cover a range of technology, including Starlink satellite development, with all of that on the table, I don't think it's a surprise that they're working together. If that isn't persuasive enough, consider the following important important point, the competition. The most active reason the corporations teaming together has to be their mutual threat, since as the saying goes, the enemy of my enemy is my friend, and Google and SpaceX have one of the most powerful common foes in the world in Amazon. Amazon is a true originator of the cloud processing sector. Having launched general purpose computing and storage cap capabilities from its Amazon Web Services division in 2006, with Google arriving in the scene with its own computing service in 2012. While you may be acquainted with Blue Origin, Jeff Bezos response to Musk's SpaceX, it isn't the only area the tech titans compete. The even more alarming prospects is Amazon's Kuiper project, which plans to launch well over 3,000 satellites in about the same orbit as Starlink, with the exact same goal of being the single source of the world's largest ISP network. With Amazon Web Services remaining well ahead of Google in RAW, use the Kuiper having enough clout to compel Elon to reconsider his decisions. The only obvious cause for these firms was to join forces. What is Starlink? With the EV world and the new space competition developing almost as quickly as the automobiles and rockets involved, it's difficult to keep up with everything Elon Musk is doing. He's out blasting holes in the soil to build supersonic trains one minute and plotting to fly billionaires into space the next. Hence, it's easy to overlook the tiny subset of only one of his businesses. But don't be misled, for while everything he does will have an effect on everyone. In a few years, Starlink might be on the doorstep of the whole world population since that is precisely what the company's aim is, which is to bring high-speed, clean internet to every single area on the earth at a fair price, all without having to pull single optical and or other cable into anyone's house. House. Don't dismiss this as something that will happen in the future. The corporation has already launched 1,625 satellites into space, with 1,550 already in operational orbit. If you haven't already guessed, that is how the corporation intends to go in the future, by launching dozens of these satellites into space to cover the whole planet with an internet blanket. Although satellite televisions and similar services are not new, they are often exceedingly sluggish and need insanely expensive equipment to conduct anything as basic as watching one stream of video. As a result, the internet is virtually always delivered by a large subterranean and undersea cable networks. That is, until now, with SpaceX's extensive expertise in space and Elon Musk's other firms all offering vital resources 
research and development, it will only be a matter of years before the internet is available to absolutely everybody who lives beneath the sky. With the plans to sell small portable dish antennas that can link to satellites in the most inaccessible areas, from a camper in the Amazon to a jeep roof in Sahara, this technology will have an impact in the future and day-to-day -day lives of billions of people. If you want to know how quickly the future is approaching, the Starlink Beta has already been up and running since 2020 and has amassed a massive 10,000 users across the United States, Canada, and a few European countries with at least 500,000 deposits of $100 placed by potential customers of the service. That's enough about Starlink. The next topic we should cover is, of course, Google Cloud, the unseen background world. While Starlink is all glitz and glam, the Google Cloud is something you'll seldom contact with while being aware of it. And the reason of this is that you've already interacted with it every day you've been on the internet. Google Cloud is literally everywhere, from your anticipated Google products like Gmail and YouTube, to thousands of websites all across the internet that, that all require Google's pre-built servers and connections to work. From providing tiny websites access to things like Google Play, AdSense, plugins, and card payments to more fundamental thing like storage communication and computation, the cloud is the foundation of a plethora of services that millions of people rely on every day. As a byproduct, while you and I are familiar with Google for things like Chrome, Search, and YouTube, their cloud service is gradually becoming the backbone of their company, with them gradually pushing towards improving the side of things. In fact, investors are already banking on the cloud becoming Google's largest hustle because while they still rely on advertisements right now, things are set to change in the future. Other partners, before the Google merger became public, SpaceX had already begun to establish its foothold in acquiring cloud computing partners in the shape of none other than Microsoft and their network known as Azure, which became a partner of SpaceX in October of last year. Despite being smaller than both Google and Amazon, Azure is still a prominent factor in Microsoft's Windows and Office platforms, not to mention that having such a large partner join up with you is always a good thing. According to a Microsoft official who wrote to CNBC, their agreement with Starlink enables high-speed, low-latency satellite broadband and will expand their capabilities with global satellite connectivity allowing cloud computing to be used in additional situations. All of this indicates that Starlink is not only attempting to become a large ISP, but is also accumulating support for the internet's most powerful players, essentially ensuring the accomplishment of the ultimate aim, which finally leads us to the future of the internet. All of that sounds great and good, but what does the arrangement actually mean? Is it simply another piece of business jargon? As it turns out, quite a lot. First and foremost, it's established SpaceX as one of the world's largest privately held companies, having raised money at $74 billion value in February last year as a prime choice of one of the world's absolute giants in the tech and internet industries, effectively putting the future in their hands. More particularly, as stated by Gwen Shotwell, President and Chief Operating Officer of SpaceX, combining Starlink's high-speed, low-latency broadband with Google's infrastructure and capabilities provides global organizations with a secure and fast connection that modern organizations expect. That brings us to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed listening to what I have to say about Google and Elon Musk teaming up together to practically shape up the future of the internet. If not already, please subscribe to TechLock and give this video a big thumbs up and leave a comment answering my question. Do you want Tesla and Google to win or Amazon?